AFC Liverpool entertain Hull Carroll boys this afternoon and the visitors come to Valerie Park with a 100% record, having won on their two previous visits. Daly turns the ball back into the box, Ty Hogan with a header, Heffernan knocks it back in straight to Murphy whose clearance is poor, picked off by Watkin, to Smith, to Stephen Keeley inside the box, Quinn's there with the tackle but Keeley sticks out a leg and it drops to Smith whose first time shot, kills past the upright. And Gareth Smith was close to giving the visitors the lead there inside the opening few minutes. Rutherford with the throw in, Mather wins the header and it drops to Capstick, he knocks it forward, turned on by Keeley over the head of Torpy and it breaks a hobbled into the area, drifting away from goal, he can't wrap his foot around the ball and so his shot goes wide without troubling Christopher. And Watkins sloppily gives the ball away to Gardner but he can't take advantage and Daly is able to tidy up. Capstick runs into a colder sack of Quinn and Gardner and it breaks for McGarn who attacks down the left. Capstick tracks back but slides in late on McGarn and concedes the free kick. Chant delivers the ball into the box, onto the header. Gibbons who with a free header can only guide it into the arms of Lidicott. Ty Hogan to Mather, he comes inside and creates some space, attacks the whole good box, now lays it out to Kai Hogan who's got time to put in a cross which is poor, it drops to Mather, his shot is blocked, now it drops to Gardner who flashes his effort wide of the upright. Good control by Gardner to line up the shot and had it been on target with Lidicott static that would have been the opening goal. Ty Hogan with the throw in, flicked on by Mather, Capstick wins the header, Quinn puts Watkin under pressure and Chart knocks it down for Gardner who looks to release Mather towards the byline and he chase with Capstick, he gets there just in time, puts in the cross and Capstick almost turns it into his own net and it goes behind for a corner. Glenn Capstick almost getting caught out after the ball glanced off the head of Daly. Rutherford with a short throw into Hubbold, who isn't closed down and he's got time to put in a cross. Straight onto the header, Smith, whose point blank header is turned behind by Christopher. Gareth Smith, who came close to giving his side the lead early in the first half, is denied by a fine reaction save by Michael Christopher early in the second. Daly knocks it forward to pick out Stephen Cooley. He combines with Michael Cooley to get the return. Then he sets up Michael Cooley, who gets there ahead of Christopher to poke the ball into an empty net and give Holker Old Boys the lead on 52 minutes. And a sluggish start to this second half by the Reds has been paid for as Michael Cooley reacted quicker than anyone else to get onto the end of Stephen Cooley's pass. Smith is able to bring the ball down without any pressure, then knock it forward to pick out Michael Cooley, who himself isn't put under pressure as he brings it under control. And he's allowed to attack the AFC box and put in a shot which deflects off Murphy's head and then comes back off the post and is hooked clear by O'Driscoll. And Michael Cooley comes within a whisker of doubling his tally for this afternoon. Torpy with a short throw into Thomas, who's quickly closed down by Daly, and it's another throw into the Reds. This time Torpy finds Chart, who tries to wriggle away from Smith, but the Hulk and number 11 won't let him, and has to concede the corner. Mather's delivery is poor, and it's cleared by Daly straight to Torpy. He fires back in a thunderbolt, which Lidicott doesn't deal with very well, and O'Driscoll tries to guide his header into the far corner, but it goes the wrong side of the upright. Darren Torpy, who hasn't scored for AFC Liverpool in 75 previous appearances, comes as close as he's ever done, as he had Lidicott in all sorts of trouble, and then O'Driscoll couldn't find a finish from the follow-up. Murphy with the header. Mather off balance can only knock it up into the air but he does well to win the second challenge and find Chart. He and Gardner combine to set up the on loan Kendall player but from a diminishing angle he blasts wide. Ty Hogan with a throw in 
Thomas Torpy. This cross to the edge of the box picks out Mather, but his header drifts harmlessly wide. And that just about sums up AFC Liverpool's afternoon.